one of the great features of America is that uh, we have political contests, that they are very hard fought, as this one is hard fought, and once the decision is made, we unite behind the man who is elected. This is a fraud on the American public. This is an embarrassment to our country. I have no bitterness, no rancor at all. I say to the president, as a, as a fellow politician, that he did a wonderful job. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. We did win this election. I have lost. Mr. Nixon has won. The democratic process has worked its will. So now let's get on with the urgent task of uniting our country. This is a very big moment. This is a major fraud in our nation. We want the law to be used in a proper manner. Congratulations on your victory. I hope that in the next four years, you will lead us to a time of peace abroad and justice at home. You have my full support in such efforts. We'll be going to the U.S. Supreme Court. We want all voting to stop. We don't want them to find any ballots at 4 o'clock in the morning and add them to the list. The president asked me to tell you that he telephoned President-elect Carter a short time ago and congratulated him on his victory. It's a very sad moment. To me, this is a very sad moment. And we will win this. And we, as far as I'm concerned, we already have won it. The people of the United States have made their choice. And of course, I accept that decision. If you count the legal votes, I easily win. He has won. We are all Americans. He is our president. And we honor him tonight. If you count the illegal votes, they can try to steal the election from us. He will be our president, and we'll work with him. This nation faces major challenges ahead, and we must work together. As everybody saw, we won by historic numbers. There is important work to be done, and America must always come first. So we will get behind this new president and wish him, wish him well. Democrat officials never believed they could win this election honestly. I really believe that. That's why they did the mail-in ballots, where there's tremendous corruption and fraud. I have said repeatedly in this campaign that the president is my opponent, not my enemy. And I wish him well, and I pledge my support. I've had two elections. I won both of them. It's amazing. And, and I actually did much better on the second one. This is America. Just as we fight hard when the stakes are high, we close ranks and come together when the contest is done. That was a rigged election, but we're still fighting it, and you'll see what's going to happen. But in an American election, there are no losers. Because whether or not our candidates are successful, the next morning, we all wake up as Americans. We will never give up. We will never concede. It doesn't happen. You don't concede when there's theft involved. Whatever our differences, we are fellow Americans. And please believe me when I say no association has ever meant more to me than that. And to use a favorite term that all of you people really came up with, we will stop the steal. I so wish that I had been able to fulfill your hopes to lead the country in a different direction, but the nation chose another leader, and so Ann and I join with you to earnestly pray for him and for this great nation. When you catch somebody in a fraud, you're allowed to go by very different rules. So I hope Mike has the courage to do what he has to do. Donald Trump is going to be our president. We owe him an open mind and the chance to lead. Our constitutional democracy enshrines the peaceful transfer of power. And we don't just respect that, we cherish it. And we fight. We fight like hell. And if you don't fight like hell, you're not going to have a country anymore.